A chief mm. meteorologist Bill Kelly here with brand new information on Barrel's track. We were just talking about, it's not like we've known about this thing for weeks and weeks and weeks. Right. It just developed as a, as a name storm on Friday night, so mm. people were flying into Jamaica, I'm sure, Saturday, Sunday, and now mm -hmm. take a look uh, at this. Update, just coming in top of the hour, 150 mile per hour sustained winds. That remains the same. Earlier today at 5 o'clock, it was 155. We got an update at 8. It was 150. I mean, this is a very strong category 4, 7 miles per hour shy of a category 5. And right now, 300 miles to the east southeast of Kingston, Jamaica. The whole island, the whole country is going to be under that uh, hurricane warning, which they are. Here's the track. I want to focus in on Jamaica, not just do the overall track. As we roll through the overnight hours, here's the timestamp. 8 o'clock in the morning, the outer bands start reaching the eastern part of that island. I'll take this storm track off here. And now this is the future cast. Look at by noon, the rain is pouring. Here is the future cast eye of that hurricane just south. And this is the worst place because along this side, it's called the right front quadrant as this is moving. The winds are not only going to be as strong as the storm is churning, but it's also moving forward. And so you get that extra push and look at all the rain. There is nowhere to go in this country on this island that is safe from this particular storm through the day tomorrow. So that's the future cast on it. Take a look at some of these forecast wind gusts and we'll pause this at noon. You start to see these numbers go up. Watch what happens by two o'clock. Now we got a 60, 80 mile per hour gust, 95 mile per hour gust. And again, this is the future cast picking out a 94. I mean, all the way up Ocho Rios over to Montego Bay. 81 miles per hour. Once again, nowhere to escape from this storm. And when we're talking about rain, the whole island looking at anywhere between four to eight, if not 10 inches of rain. And so flooding is going to be a major, major problem with this as well. And of course, then tomorrow night, the storm continues to track off to the east, making landfall most likely early Friday morning as a category one or category two storm just south. That's Cozumel, there's Cancun. You can see the track here. Then it takes it across the Yucatan Peninsula into the Gulf and potentially impacting our friends and family in southern parts of Texas as a tropical storm. Now that's what's going on. I don't see any impacts locally here from that. Sometimes they'll shift and head back this direction. Our impacts over the next couple of days are going to be from a weather system that moves through on your 4th of July, a stray morning shower or two, but we'll see plenty of sunshine mixed in with some showers. But as we get into the evening hours, here's a look at five models now starting to come together with this line of storms that's pushing through. If you have any outdoor plans, especially if you're going to be out like on the parkway because you're going to watch fireworks in Philadelphia, make sure you have a plan to get inside one of the stores or get inside somewhere if that uh, system works by and we get some lightning, then firework time, just some hit and miss showers here and there. But we are watching that for Thursday. We'll do it again on Friday. Our most active day is going to be Saturday with a temperature of 92, tracking some stronger storms. And then we're just going to be in a suburb pattern. But for tonight and tomorrow, mostly sunny things are looking really good. But we'll be focusing on that. And of course, barrel tomorrow. That's a major mm -hmm. story, guys.